Hi everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Breadboard Toolbox, and today we're going to look at the first song from my Picking Melodies Volume 1 book, Frere Jaca. We're going to play it in five different keys, and we're going to play it all over the fretboard, and I'll show you where to find free backing tracks for that, and, uh, and then hopefully you'll start building some good muscle memory and be able to see how these chords fit with the, the notes and the scale degrees uh, from the song. So let's get started, and I'll show you how it works. Today we're using my Picking Melodies workbook. We're going to use the first song, Frere Jaca, and we're going to use an Essential Mandolin uh, e-book here. And we'll try the key of G first. And what you'll see here in the white boxes is the scale degrees. So G is my one, or Do. Two is Re, or A. Three is Mi, B. Four is Fa, C. Five is Sol, D. 6 is La, E, and 7 is T, F sharp in this case. Okay, so in the key of G, I want to know what are my scale degrees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are my bluesy notes. We'll hit those in a little bit. And I want to know uh, what chords am I playing. So this song has the 1 and 5 chords. The 1 chord is G major in the key of G, and the 5 chord is D. And then that's it. So we got scale degrees and then the chords that we're playing, the two main chords. And what this is showing here is that this box is the root, that's the G note in the key of G, and then we're using the scale degrees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we're also using the 5 that's an octave below, 8VB, an uh, octave below the root. So if my root is G, I want to hit a 5 note that's below that, and I'll show you down here how that works. So this song is 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. Okay, and so I could play G, A, B, G, that's like this. Okay, I could also play it one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. And if you want to know what these little carrots are, those are possible strums. If you want to try to strum and pick the melody, like one, two, three, one, one, two, three, strum. And then the second part is three, four, five, with the strum if you want. Three, four, five, three, four, five. Over here you could say three, four, five, three, four, five. That would look like this. And if I want to add a strum, like this is not a shape that we teach very often or that you see all that often. But if I want to get this D note in here, I want to get the melody note, and still be playing over a G chord, I need, uh, I can't play an E here, so I could leave this G on, and then put this D for the melody, since the melody's coming off of a five note. Like three, three, four, five, three, four, five, and then there's five, six, five, four, three, one, which is a cool thing on mandolin, because in the key of G, here's my D, so five, six, five, D E D five six five four three one and that would look like this or I could play the, the uh, way I like five six five D E D C B G or if I wanted to play that same high part D E D C B G I can play it here. If I want to play it up here, D, E, D, C, B, G. And then it ends one, five, one. And so the one is G, like one, five, one. And then when it went to the five, uh, that's in an orange circle because the five note in the key of G is a D, and that's part of this five chord. So that part's confusing, I know, but uh, let's uh, let's try it in the key of A. So you can pause here and try to play play along with this in the key of G. And once you get that down under your fingers, um, then it's fun to be able to see. Okay, well let's use the scale degrees to figure it out in a different key. So now my one and five 
chords are A and E major, A major and E major. Here's my A major scale, my scale degrees. So Frere Jacques is still one, two, three, one, one, two, three, one. So I could play that one, two, three, one, like this. And then three, four, five. And then five, six, five, four, three, one. Okay, so that was one, two, three, one, three, four, five. And if you're getting bored right about now, um, try throwing in some bluesy notes like this flat third and slide up to the third, and you'll get a whole different sound. Like. Three, three, C, C sharp one. Five, six, five, four, flat three, three, one. One, five, one. So in the key of A, one, five, one is A, E, A. And when it goes to the five chord there, that's going to be based on E major. Okay, and so when we hit this E note, like here's one, five, here's E major. One, one, five, one. And so that's, you start trying to see how these notes fit in with the notes here, how they fit in with the chords that are being played. So how's the melody fit with the chords? Let's try it in the key of C. And... Uh, same thing, everything's the same except for my one chord is C major, my five is G, and my scale degrees here start on C. So one, two, three, one. Now we're playing in the key of C. So I could start with this C, C, D, E, C. Five chord in the key of G is G major and then back to C okay so you can find those all over the place C D E C like We want to try it in the key of D. D major is my one, A major is my five. Here's my A ma D major scale. Uh, one, two, three, one. Now we're going to play it starting with the D note. Is my five in the key of D. A is my five note in the key of D. And then if you want to uh, practice those with jam tracks, which is highly advisable, go to Tracks and Tab, go to Picking Melodies. You can order the Picking Melodies book from here too. Um, but if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just go to the uh, tracks here though and play some of these free tracks. So, um, well, let's go back to the key of, of D here. So that one we were just playing, here's Frere Jaca at a bunch of different speeds. Let's play it up at 75 here, and then I'll put this back on. And I'm going to start D, E, F sharp, D, and see if we can play along. some bluesy notes.
so that's the main idea there is to be able to just be able to see what are these scale degrees and start getting used to uh, to hearing songs in terms of scale degrees. And then with that Picking Melodies book, once you get that idea, then you can start seeing what are some different tunes and how do those work? And three, two, one, two, three, three, three. So Mary had a little lamb in the key of D would be three, two, one, two, three, three, three. And uh, and and just lots of uh, important things have started to pop out to me since um, since I started messing around with this idea. And so um, if you want to pick up your own fretboard toolbox, you can go to the fretboard toolbox website and go to pick your instrument. And I've got instruments set up just the same for lots of different instruments here. Books set up just the same. Here's the mandolin. And uh, today we're using the Essential Mandolin Edition. Uh, they're available in print and ebook versions. If you click Look Inside on any of my books, you can get a third uh, to a fourth of the books for free and, uh, and see if, if you find them useful, including all the key of G major stuff. And be sure to check out all the videos I have for mandolin and free tools that go along with it. If you want to compare the essential and complete books, you can do that by clicking here. And if you want to look at the differences between the print and ebook versions, you can check it out there. So uh, I appreciate you taking a look, and I'll have lots more videos coming on lots more instruments. Thanks for stopping by.